Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video and joining me today. I'm going to be showing you how I made my mom's Mother's Day gift. It is this seashell wall hanging. Um, I hand painted this guy. It took about six hours and I'm really excited for you guys to follow along and see how this thing came to life. I really hope my mom's going to like it. Um, and yeah, so let's get right on into the video. Thanks again for clicking on it and happy Mother's Day everyone. Okay, I just picked up this mold from Michaels. I already have the moon and the butterfly one, but I picked up this one because at first I wasn't going to get it, but I decided to make it for my mom for Mother's Day. So that's what the mold looks like. It was 15 bucks and excuse the box i needed something to elevate it so i just used an old box of crackers but this is the empty mold you can see that it's etched with flowers and whatnots and i'm just taking some paints and i'm painting it and i just wanted to show you guys how i made my mom's mother's day present so we are taking i got all these paints from michael's these guys were like two to four dollars i believe so we're taking metallic paints and then we're mixing them with just regular paints to still give the regular paints a little bit of a metallic sheen to them so I'm taking metallic color shifting paints um, these ones are folk art and these ones are deco art and then these guys are just craft smart and I'm just mixing them all together but I'm gonna show you guys my progress as I get more done but this is the beginning and I can't wait for you guys to see how it comes together and then see me give it to my mom. Um, this is just the minimum that I can do just to show my appreciation for her and she loves the sea and she loves flowers so I figured why not combine her two favorite things and give it to her so that she can keep it forever. So stay tuned. I hope you guys like it and I'll see you later. Okay, so it's been about an hour and I just finished painting all the leaves. I still have all of the flowers to do, but this is what it looks like inside the mold. And again, these are metallic paints. And this is what the back of the mold looks like. Let's see if it can focus. There it is. So you guys can see it. And then I'll come back once I have a little bit more of the flowers done so I can give you guys a look. But this is an hour in just to show you guys how much I got done. <laughs> Alright, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm so sorry guys. I forgot to show you what it looked like after I finished painting the leaves and moved on to the flowers. But you guys will see a little snippet of it before I fill it with resin. But I'm so sorry I didn't get to show you guys an up close view of it. But it took me um, a little over five hours to uh, paint it. I started at around six-ish, almost seven o'clock. And it's now midnight and I just finished and I uh, just got back from filling it with resin. It's a... 12 30 so it took me about six hours to hand paint and then about a half an hour to fill it with resin and whatnot and then in the morning i'll show you guys how it looks fresh out of the mold and then we'll attach it and whatnot and wait for mother's day all right it's now the next morning and here's the butterfly mold that i mentioned earlier that's the inside of it and then i'll show you guys the back of it in a second this guy took about six and a half almost seven hours to paint and that's just using regular acrylic paint the next one is a seashell that's the one that's for my mom I use metallic paint regular acrylic paint and color shifting acrylic paint to give it this effect that guy took about six and a half hours as well and then lastly is the crescent moon one that one took about three to four hours to paint and again used acrylic paints um, that were metallic and color shifting for it so to fill these guys in, you guys know my favorite is Alumalite Amazing Clear Cast Resin. So of course that's what we're going to be using today. And it is a equal ratio one to one. So I'm taking a measuring cup as an example that still has the lines and I'm going to fill part A up to the line 200 and part B up to the line 400 and vigorously mix it for four to five minutes and make sure that you scrape the sides and the bottom to make sure that everything is evenly incorporated. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start picking my colors and showing you guys how it turns out. 
Um, here I'm just showing you everything that comes in the box when you get it. So it's a pack of instructions, some little measuring cups that are labeled, and some popsicle sticks, and then of course the resin part A and part B. Alright, it's been about four minutes of mixing, so now that everything is thoroughly mixed, we're going to go ahead and separate some resin into a little cup and add some Hemway Fine Iridescent Glitter, some Deco Art Metallic Purple Paint, and then Atom Tech Golden Purple Mica Powder. Again, everything that was purchased from Amazon will be linked down below under the Amazon shopping link and everything that was purchased everywhere else will be having an individual link that way you guys can find exactly what I used and you guys can follow along with me if you'd like. But now we're just going to go ahead and mix those colors up together and then we're going to pour it into our mold. We'll actually have to do this twice because this wasn't enough to cover the full mold, only about one side. So we're going to go ahead and do this one more time. Alright, now that our beautiful butterfly is done, we are going to be moving on to our crescent moon. Now for this guy, I'm taking some black mica powder and then I'm adding in just a little bit of black holographic glitter. And I'm going to mix this thoroughly to make sure that the glitter is evenly distributed. I didn't go as heavy handed with the glitter as I usually do because I wanted it to just be a slight effect of the holographic and not overpowering because I wanted the main focus to be the flowers on these guys. So I didn't add a lot of glitter to any of them and you guys know glitter is my favorite thing so I really had to hold back on that one. But we're just pouring all the mica in and then we're going to blast it once with our air gun and then we're going to move right on along to our seashell, the main event. Alright, now that our moon is done, we are going to be moving on to our seashell and for this guy, I'm just going to blast it with a little bit of hot air to try and help the paint dry since I had just finished painting three of the flowers before I poured the resin into it. So I'm just trying to help it along a little bit. But for this one, we are going to be using a few drops of cream alcohol ink a few drops of teal alcohol ink and then we are taking ice blue metallic paint and mixing that all together i wanted this to be a very very faint blue that's why i used mostly alcohol inks and the teensiest drop of paint in there but i'm showing you guys what i did here unfortunately when i pulled this guy out of the mold a little bit of the paint was still wet so it stuck to the mold but that's all right i was easily able to wash it out and clean my mold up good as new i cleaned it with a little bit of warm soapy water and i let it dry completely naturally 
Um, so there weren't any paper towels or anything used because I didn't want to transfer um, dust particles and whatnots and fibers. But once it was dry, then I just went over it again with a little bit of acetone and a cotton swab just to make sure that I didn't saturate the mold or anything. I didn't want it to break down. But just went over it very gently in the last few places where the paint was stuck. And then my mold was back to being good as new. Now for this one, I'm going to add a little bit of glitter. Not a lot since the ice blue metallic paint already has a bit of a shimmer to it. I didn't really need to add glitter in the first place, but like I said earlier, I love glitter. So I just did a little sprinkle on the top, just a little bit. guys it is now the next day it's been about eight hours since I first poured these guys although they're not a hundred percent dry they're dry enough where I can pop them out of the mold to get a sneak peek on how they turned out this was my first time ever painting in a mold this large I usually only do bookmarks and earrings so I was very pleased with how they turned out and I love how the glitter that I used and the different paints gave a whole nother level to each one of these pieces. I'm very pleased with how they turned out and I'm going to try to do some more pieces like this in the future um, but they will not be around very often as it took 16 hours just to paint these three guys right here and that is not including pouring the resin in or anything like that. That's just paint time. But I'm going to set these guys off to the side for just a few more hours so that they can finish drying. But before I do that, I want to give you guys an up close look so that you can see each one of these pieces in detail. Right, guys now I'm going to show you how I assembled this and turned this seashell into a piece of wall decor for my mom so for this part of the video you will need a few things you will need an electric drill I got mine from Amazon you will need eye screws jump rings pliers some sort of UV light and then your preferred brand of UV resin I'm using let's resin in the nail polish shaped bottle now for this part I'm going to put the eye screws into the holes that I drilled and leave a little bit of space as I'm going to apply a little bit of the UV resin around the edges and then I'll finish twisting in the screws. Once that's done you want to pop it under the nail lamp. I put it on for about 60 seconds and let it cure fully. And you know it's fully cured when the eye screws can't wiggle around in there. If they do, you want to just do another coat, another thin coat of resin. 
So I'm just twisting the pliers up and then I'm going to add in the jump rings and the yarn. Now for this part, I'm using some of my little sister's yarn because by the time I filmed this video, the twine I ordered unfortunately hadn't been delivered, but I wanted you guys to still see what it looked like when it was all put together. So this is not how I'm going to be giving it to my mom, hopefully, if my twine gets delivered on time, but I just did this for video purposes so you guys could see what it looked like and stick around so you can see what it looks like when it's all assembled and ready to go. guys for joining me for this video i really hope you liked it um happy mother's day everyone every um mom aunt grandmother whatever maternal figure you have in your life make sure you give them an extra special hug as long as it's safe and i love you guys so much i can't wait to see you next time stay safe be well love you bye